some totally insane things have been happening there at Yellowstone, um, and it's concerning. For seven thrilling years, from March of 2018 to early 2025, Steamboat Geyser, the tallest active geyser on Earth, roared back to life in Yellowstone Norris Geyser Basin. At its peak in 2019 through 2020, it erupted more than once a week, hurling hot rocks, scaling water, and steam over 300 feet into the Wyoming sky. Visitors and cars in the parking lot sometimes got pelted by the steaming hot water or the rocks. They flocked the boardwalks. Photos ready, hoping to catch one of the unprecedented blasts that rattled windows a mile away. Then, almost without warning, the giant fell silent. As of this month, December 2025, Steamboat has managed only two major eruptions all year, the fewest since its spectacular awakening began. Its last towering display was on April 14th of this year. Since then, nothing but occasional hissing of steam and minor splashes. More than 238 di days of quiet and eerie calm for a geyser that once seemed unstoppable. Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you very much for joining me. I humbly ask you to subscribe. I keep you up to date with accurate fact-based breakdowns of major quakes and eruptions, plus space science ties. Extremely concerning a half a mile away in the neighboring porcelain basin, something new appeared at almost the same moment as Steamboat began to fade. On Christmas Day of 2024, a sensitive infrasound microphones picked up a muffled thud of a small hydrothermal explosion. Two more followed in January and February of this year when geologists flew to the area in April. They discovered a striking milky blue pool roughly 13 feet across and with a temperature of 109 degrees Fahrenheit, sitting just west of a small patch of stubborn pines and grass locals call Free Island. The pole, still unnamed officially on maps, but already named Baby Blue by rangers and researchers, formed when underground pressure blasted away silica-rich mud and rock, carving a perfect turquoise bowl into the pale crust. So is this new pool stealing Steamboat's thunder? The short answer is maybe. It could be a sign of something brewing under the ground. Is this a sign of major changes coming? The Norris Geyser Basin is Yellowstone's hottest and most restless thermal area. Beneath it lies a labyrinth of fractures, reservoirs, and boiling channels, all fed by the same shallow magma body that powers the park's supervolcano. Water and heat do not stay in one place for long. When one pathway clogs with mineral deposits or a new fracture opens, the system reroutes itself like a living circulatory network. What energizes one feature can starve another. Scientists at Yellowstone Volcano Observatory point out that Steamboat's deep, deepest conduits reach at least 100 to 100 feet down, possibly deeper, and connects sideways to Cistern Springs and Enchinus Geyser. The baby blue explosions, by contrast, were shallow events, possibly no more than a few tens of feet, yet even small pressure release can trigger chain reactions in a system this sensitive. Mike Poland, the USGS scientist in charge at YVO, have said the current blue feels different from past quiet stretches, and one working hypothesis is that the heat and fluid have simply migrated elsewhere in the basin, perhaps towards Porcelain Basin and Tree Island. History supports the idea of the trade-off when Steamboat was dormant for 50 years between 1911 and 1961. Other parts of Norris were more active. 
when it exploded back into the scene in 2018. Nearby Porkchop Geyser, once a reliable performer, went quiet after its own violent hydrothermal explosion in 1989. Yellowstone rarely gives something for nothing. The park does have thousands of earthquakes every year, and thermal features shift constantly without ever pushing the volcano towards an eruption. But it's sure been active of late. The birth of Baby Blue Pool and the sleep of Steamboat are dramatic reminders that Yellowstone is still very much alive. So has there been a drop in the water in the system? Well, back in 1989, Pork Chop Geyser, um, the back basin there in Norris Geyser, they say that mineral deposits gradually clogged the conduit and water was no longer circulating um, to the surface. But then on September 5th, 1989, it shot rocks up to 200 feet from the crater, 40 feet wide, and landed 600 feet away. After the 1989 explosion, the system partially refilled but became clogged again, and the water level dropped. Uh, again in 1994 and 1995. Then there was another small hydrothermal eruption in May of 1995. In 2003, there was a regional disturbance causing many springs to drop or dry up. Several became only steam vents. Then at least 14 small to moderate hydrothermal explosions were documented across the Norris Geyser Basin. Craters were formed a few meters across, and thank God no injuries were reported. Near Doublet Pool, Upper Geyser Basin, water level in the Doublet Pool suddenly dropped 6 to 8 feet in early 2009. Exact cause, they don't know. But in April of 2009, there was an explosion from an unnamed adjacent feature. It threw rocks into the boardwalk, and minor injuries were reported. In 2018, there at Ear Spring, it had been slowly losing water for years, and then in September of 2018, it suddenly drained almost completely. But on September 15th, 2018, a very large water eruption, not a classic explosion, but an ejection of all the rocks and materials that have been collecting for decades in the bottom of Ear Spring, including trash. It shot a column of water 30 feet into the air. And many of you may know or remember about the uh, feature there at Diamond Pool, Biscuit Basin, July of last year, a sudden drop in the water level in the system uh, preceded the explosion by minutes that happened on July 23rd of last year, and it destroyed the boardwalk, uh, places where people can sit, uh, covering people in mud and debris, and they had to run for their lives. Scientists believe that the column of colder water that sits on top of the superheated water in these hot poles, the weight of the cooler water keeps the deeper water from boiling and exploding. They say that the pressure suppresses the boiling point. If the overlying water suddenly drains away, such as clogging, fractures, or siphoning, the pressure drops instantly. And then you have superheated water flashing to steam, and the volume expands 1,000 times into a violent explosion. So is there a connection to Steamboat? Steamboat itself has not exploded but its current dormancy is partially linked to Cistern Spring, connected underground, draining almost completely since 2022 and 2023. Uh, when Cistern erupts after a major steamboat eruption, it removes the cold water lid from part of the system, which is why minor steam explosions sometimes occur in Cistern's empty pool. The new baby pool near Tree Island formed by small explosions in December 2024 and February 2025 after localized pressure drops. Exactly the same process, just on a much smaller scale. The bottom line is, in Yellowstone, a rapidly dropping water level 
in a hot spring or geyser is one of the clearest warning signs geologists watch for. Um, yeah, for a coming possible hydrothermal explosion. And the park has a long record of this happening exactly that way. So what's going to happen next? Are these warning signs for something much larger that's going to occur? Yeah, hopefully, hopefully not very soon. Things are definitely changing there at Yellowstone. Put your comments down below. Please subscribe for the latest updates that I post here regularly. Please thumbs up my videos, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.